When we first came to this area, heavy rains would cause chaos on our little farm. The water would run down the slopes in a torrent, washing away precious soil, carrying nutrients out of our reach, and leaving us with deep gullies scored into the sandy and over farm soil. My name's Matt, and for the past two years we've been setting up a small permaculture homestead here in northeast Thailand, completely from scratch. As you can imagine, water is one of the most valuable resources for us, and it is by far the biggest challenge. In our province in Thailand, for more than the last two years, there have been severe drought conditions that can last up to seven months at a time. And when the rain does come, it has been a lot less than expected. So it's critical that we catch as much of the water as we can to revitalize the soil. We decided it was time to put into practice something that is commonly used in permaculture. We installed a swale. Well, actually we installed four of them. This is our fourth swale in action. Just to put this into perspective guys, our total rain collection tanks comes in at around 24,000 litres. In one rainfall, this swale has collected at least 80,000 litres. That's a lot of water there, which is fantastic. You know, that's, that's holding water that would otherwise just wash off the land, take all the soil away. This is awesome, guys. This is the first proper rainfall I've seen in weeks. And we're in the middle of the rainy season. I mean, it should be raining like this all the time. I'll just share a little bit of information about swales, guys. A swale is a shallow ditch dug along the contour of the land and it's designed to capture and manage rainwater runoff. By slowing down the flow of water, the swale allows it to seep into the soil rather than running off the surface. This prevents soil erosion and helps the land retain moisture. Over time, it can completely recharge the groundwater. And if the word contour is confusing in any way at all, all it really means in reality is that the swale is level with itself. Here you can see the first swale we made before any planting, grasses or wildflowers were growing. The amount of water being kept on the land here is immense. So how do you go about building swales? Well, it really depends on your individual farm or garden size. You can actually dig swales by hand with some determination and hard work. And this would be fine for a small or medium garden, maybe. For larger areas, you really need a tractor with a front blade. And for much larger areas, you'll probably need a JCB or a macro if you're building large earthwork swales. Some of our swales are pretty long at around 100 meters, so digging by hand was out of the question. And we used a trusty Kubota with a plow and front blade. As we mentioned earlier, the swales have to be level with themselves so that water will spread out and slow down. And there are several techniques that you can use to make sure of this. If you have a nice flat surface to begin with, then a simple A-frame will work and there are many videos on YouTube explaining how to make one, so I won't go into that in detail here. This didn't work for me as the ground was just so hugely uneven. In the end, I had to use a laser level, which worked fine, apart from the fact it was difficult to see in the bright light of the day. So the work had to be done at dusk or dawn in lower light levels. Here you can see a drone view of the four swales we put in and how much fertile the area looks now. I'll quickly show a Google Maps view of the land also so that you can see more clearly how the swales are interlinked. So a couple of things worth mentioning guys if you're thinking of implementing swales. Access is really important. Don't forget that you may need access with vehicles for example to certain areas of your land. So think about this in the planning stage. Planting on the swales or behind the swales is also a really important part to driving water into the ground. Trees and agroforestry techniques go hand in hand with swales. And this is something we need to develop further. If rainfall is excessive, you may need to install overflow pipes into small ponds to help manage this. It really depends on your individual situation as everyone is unique. So if you're thinking of implementing swales or have done, then I'd love to hear your opinions on them or what results you've achieved in the comments below. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. And as ever guys, take care and see you in the next one.